Welcome back to another Iowa Carver beer review. Today we have one from Lagunitas in Petaluma, California, uh, and Chicago, Illinois. Uh, we have the Censordale. Um, this is one um, that, I, you know, I forget if this is a, I believe you can get this all the time. I, I don't think this is a special release. This is the last one I had from the six pack I bought, so I thought I'd better um, review it. Actually, the High V store has this, so most of everything they have at Lagunitas is uh, the, uh, you know, the regular releases. So it's a, this is, should be available all the time. Um, the, the story on this one is what the whole the censored thing is. Is originally this was to be called the Chronic. And the label maker or the label approvers rejected it, uh, supposedly that it had, that it, that is a reference, something drug related. I don't know if that's true. I don't know. I've never heard of that before. So they simply named it censored and it's placed the censored over the top of the old, um, label so anyway that's the story on it um but it is they call it i don't know what style this falls into they call it a rich copper ale um it's 6.7 percent abv and the bitter ibus i believe are 35 so and a lot of times they write stuff on their bottles this just says life is uncertain don't sip but uh Anyway, I am a big fan of Lagunitas beers. I think they're pretty hard to beat um, price-wise, and they make damn good beer. Uh, I have had this one. Um, so let's get a pour on it. And as you can see, it pours out just a beautiful, nice, beautiful copper color. Very well carbonated, as you can see. Just a nice, rich, coppery look to it. And the, uh, the head is about a finger's worth of uh, nice... Uh, off-white frothy head let's get the aroma on it wow just ooh. malt bomb for sure you know when you see you, you get the nose on this one it is just all malt you know this is going to have a heavy malt background back As with most of their beers, they don't tell you exactly what they make these from. Um, so I don't know what the hops are that are used, but, uh, you know, there's some, uh, it's definitely got a heavy malt bill. Just a lot of toffee, uh, burnt sugar, um, toasted caramel. So anyway, let's go ahead and get a taste on this one. Toasted malts, roasted malts. Uh, a real heavy, uh, almost a molasses taste to it to me. Um, And just as they say, a rich coppery malt, uh, uh, a rich copper ale. It is very rich on the taste, heavy, sweet, but is is as much uh, as the heavy, rich malts and stuff in there. It finishes pretty clean and and fairly dry. I 
It's just this has got a heavy malt background on malt backbone on it. Excuse me. And uh, you know, that's just the the shining star on this beer is just a uh, lots lots of uh lots of big nice malts here, rich rich um sweet malts. Really nice toasted caramel uh, character on it. It's just a really nice beer. Um, you know, I, I, I would, I would pick this one up again for sure. It, I, I don't know where it fits in and this thing is style wise, but I like it. Um, uh, yeah, it's one of the things they don't do. They don't do a sampler pack, and I like to do sampler packs just so that you don't have to buy a six pack of something and you get to, you know you know buy some of the other beers every once in a while without buying a whole six pack i mean i would buy a six pack this is one you don't you really could buy and not worry a whole lot and let it let it sit around for a couple months while you drink drink it you know when you're in the mood and not worry about the you know the hops falling out so so anyway i mean i don't, I don't know what the the guideline is on this or where it falls in there but as just as a beer um I'd give this like, oh, probably like a 3.75 out of 5, you know, not not quite a 4, but uh, it's a good one nevertheless. If you never had this one, I, w I would, uh, I would uh, pick this one up. Um, you know, it, I'm, I'm kind of curious how this compares to brown sugar. I haven't had that one yet, and I know it's like 10%, and that's, uh, it's, it's actually out now. And uh, when I I think of brown sugar from Lagunitas, this this I I expect that it's like this beer only threefold. So we'll see about that anyway. Hey, thanks for joining joining me today on another Iowa Carver beer review. Got another one coming soon. Thanks.